Previously on Nino Kune 2, Revenant Kingdom. Ah, Flack, you can't escape! You ever wonder how they fit those chocolates in those itty bitty wrappers? Well, Gilbert Burfrey does! Rah! Shut up, Gilbert Burfrey! Jeez! What kind of horrible evolution created you? Too many rip-off Aladdin movies! Rah! And now, back to- Holy shit, Roland's got a gun! Sneako B, back with some more Nino Kune 2 Revenant Kingdom. We last left off. We brought down the corrupt leader of a casino town and uh, revealed the truth to its people. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed this whole little story arc. I first the setting was just gorgeous. Like seriously, this is just such a pretty town. Um, but also just like the whole setup of that everything in their town is based around luck of luck of the dice and. Uh, I don't know, it was just, it was a very unique idea, and how we sort of delved into it, and uncovered the corruption underneath it, and, I don't know, it was just, it was a really cool little story arc, I really enjoyed this. But yes, with this, we've now, uh, gotten, uh, not, you guys say it's pronounced Niall, Niall's force back. So now we can get our wood to make our kingdom. Oh, by the way, based on high demand, we've just released the new Roland plushie. And yes, he comes with his own little gun accessory. He's now available on the uh, Picky Penguin plushie store. You can check it out in the link down below or in that little thing that shows up in the top right corner of the video. But yes, there's been a lot of demand for a Roland plushie. We'll wait no longer. Daddy Roland's here. He usually did an awesome job. Truly nailed his hair. There's like this funny little strands of hair of his. By the way, if the lines of his coat seem a little, a little messy, see in the pictures uh just know that those, that was sort of like the first draft um and we've figured out how to uh, make them a bit straighter and cleaner so the one you get will look a bit nicer in terms of the coat but yes feel free to check it out if you'd like i'm sure we'll be coming out with uh, other other ones as well for nino kuni 2 including maybe one for evan and maybe one for lofty too we, i think we need to kind of figure out the best way to handle that just <laughs> just because lofty you know he doesn't really have a nose or anything so i guess we give him like a beak but we also have that weird sort of lisa simpson type hair <laughs> <laughs> Not quite sure what we're gonna do with that, but we'll, we'll figure something. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to uh, Force and I all. Oh, I guess uh, I really do love being able to just, just teleport like that. It's not very often you get that ability like right at the beginning of an RPG. Oh, also, you guys told me apparently these force folk are actually, uh, it's not Irish, it's Scottish. Y you can, yeah, oh, okay. Oh man, Scottish, that, that is a hard accent. It's, I, I feel like Scottish is kind of like the Irish, but it's, it's, even more exaggerated, you know? There's truly just that you probably could spend months like studying and understanding the Scottish accent, you know? All the different ways of saying things. Honestly, I mean, there's a lot going on with the Welsh accent too. I mean, it helps a bit that they they actually write it down, you know, like I guess ph phonetically, f f phonetically is how you say it? So that does help a little bit so you can sort of like read it the way that they pronounce it. Oh yeah, actually now that I think about it, I never did look at uh, uh, the Higgledy Almanac for the new one I got. Bunbane the Mushy. H Higgledy who began life in a waterlogged swamp. He likes to stay in places and can happily sit in a puddle for days on end. When he gets peckish, he simply plucks a mushroom from his head and tucks it in. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Ew! You're eating your head mushrooms. You should teach that to some of those anime characters like Junko, right? Hey, bro. bro. Heavens. Oh, God, I don't know if I could go anywhere near a... Scottish accent. Yeah, beauties, ye. Your pony, pony, we beauties. I got my force back, and it's all things to yourselves. You can all have all the trees you want to knock yourselves out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we can finally start building our kingdom. Yes. Wait, Niall, Pugnicious had his king's bond stolen by a creepy, snake headed weirdo. Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Jinx. Stolen, Jinx. <laughs> his. His K-Maker must be tearing the places to pieces! Aye! Aye! It wanted to be, sure enough! But we taught it a lesson we won't forget! Gold Paul's safe, for now! King Spawn stealing it. no mean feat, though! He did not happen to be infusing things with an awfully filthy fog, did he? Mm. Uh, who the what now? <laughs> yes, sort of purple aura. Mm. I mean, the horn one's doing then, right enough. The old one. Your king make a place called Allegoria. A nasty piece of work. And no mistake, someone to be using the beast's powers would would have to mean. Aye. Aye, can I see it being anyone but Dolorot? He was the king that shared a bond with the creature. Uh-huh. So we just need to go to the Allegoria place and get the bond back, right? You all have a job 
job doing that, I'm afraid. Elicodia has not has now existed for oh two thousand or more years now. Spared along with the land on which it stood. Huh. I don't remember an Alagoya and Dino Kuni one. How far in the future are we? I mean, I, it's gotta be far in the future that the whole fucking land has managed to like shift from the previous. It's gotta be like really fucking far. Golly. Golly, gee willikers. So he's the king of a country which hasn't existed for centuries. Ah. I do think I, rem I can't remember something similar happening in the first game though. Also, that that one place that we went to towards the end of the game that, that didn't exist. I think this, yeah, where the White Witch was from. That had been gone for centuries. What does that mean? Is he a ghost or something? Whatever he is, I, I'd say he's looking to pinch people's king's balls in order to try and bring the horned one back somehow. And if he does that, the whole world will be filled with purple fog. But we can say we're doomed! We're, fu mm. we're fucked! So Pagnatius was right. He'll be trying to steal more king's bonds. <laughs> what are you looking at me for there, man? <laughs> We mustn't let him succeed. We can't let him bring back the horned one. So now we got him and the rat king to worry about. Great. We sure can't. If we're going to stop him, we'll need the strength of the entire kingdom. A kingdom we haven't see even started building yet. Then let's get, get to work, shall we? Arr, time to get building, me hearties. Hi, sounds like a plan, right enough. I must come with ye. You. You'll be needing my help. R really? Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping I wouldn't have to deal with you in your Scottish accent anymore. <laughs> Speaking of which, things will be getting underway by now, I reckon. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh, do they already send wood over there? Look. Ah, uh, he smells a smell on the wind. That a progress. Seems the mangy dolls got tired of twiddling their thumbs. <laughs> D damn, it worked fast. All right, cool. Oh my! Where did all these people come from? I see sky pirates, greenlings, and a few people from Ding Dong Dell. They must all want to be citizens of our amazing new kingdom. After they must, right enough. But how did the swabs even know to come a knocking? <laughs> you mean to thank for that, son? I can I did not expect so many to show up, turn up so soon. Be honest. What'd you do, use a leaf book? Put the word out on the street, you kid. And we thanks for getting the old forest back, like. That's more than we could have hoped for. Oh, I'll think nothing of it. I only I ask only Titsy Winsy his favors and to return that you make me a minister of finance. Oh, okay. There's nothing can pitch a penny like I can. Well, then I better get used to this Scottish accent. <laughs> I think it sounds like a wonderful idea. So if Niall's the Minister of Finance, because that makes Batu the Minister of Defense, the Minister of Diesel! And that makes me the Minister of Arms! <laughs> I'll be in charge of the arms race! <laughs> That's swab in charge of fighting, you mean? I like the sound of that, good deal. Har. And I guess I can be your advisor. I have a little experience running a country. I'm sure I can help out here and there. Roland, I dub the Chief Daddy. Hell yeah, son. Daddy! <laughs> no, you'll be my chief counsel. I'm no politician, Roland. I, ne I shall need your help. Well, it's very kind of you, Evan. I just, I don't know if I'll be. It's the king's job to appoint his ministers, correct? Then I hereby appoint you chief counsel. I think he's, he's sick and he's like, well, it didn't go so great for me before, apparently, because I still got my goddamn city nuked. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. Chief Consul it is. But by, by rule appointment. Thank you. Thank you, Roland. No problem. Happy to see you finally taking the lead. I suppose I am, aren't I? I'm still not sure I'll be up on to the job, but I have to try. And thanks to all of you, I finally feel ready to. I'll try my best. For your sakes, and for mine. Flip, man! Almost forgot! If, it, if I'm in the kingdom, we never pop a tiny name in it! Make things special like, oh, so we can't eat whatever the hell I want. Hey, I've been doing some thinking about that. 
No, I don't have think have decided to call our kingdom Evermore. Oh, cool. Well, what do you think? Evermore! I'm a little disappointed I couldn't do my own, but but on the bright side, at least it'll be voice acted, right? <laughs> Evermore! That's good. That's, that's a good name. Evermore, huh? I like it. Did you come up with that yourself? I was going to go with Mr. Kitty's Cracktastic Kingdom, but I just thought it was a little too much of a tongue twister. Oh no! It's from an ancient story. So I have a great kingdom whose people were so happy they wished for it to last forever. Huh. Hmm. Fitting. Alright, Mr. King, you've named your country. Time to address your doing, citizens. Yahar! Cool. Oi! Oi! Listen up, ye magey curs! King Evans got a rousing speech for you. Oh. Pay attention. Oh, oh dear, I'm not hmm? very good on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so cute. Thank you all. Building our new kingdom won't be easy. But we will build it. I can't hear you back here! A beautiful, bountiful kingdom. Where everyone can live happily ever after. Wow. I want you all to join me on this journey. The road ahead may be a long one, but at the end of it, there is hope. Yeah! 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 Woo! <laughs> There's King Lee you are. That wasn't half bad. <laughs> nice speech, Evan. Couldn't have done better myself. This is where it all begins. Here and now. Our kingdom. We're with you to the bitter end, lad. Come hell or high water. Ah. Uh. Thank you. All of you. So the people who had heeded Neil's call and flocked to the heights set about building their new nation. Neil! And Evermore took its first faltering steps on the road to becoming a kingdom. A kingdom where everyone could live happily ever after. Just as Arinella had wished. Or so they hoped. You guys were wrong too. Said it's pronounced Neil. <laughs> oh, whatever. Who cares? Hello again. For someone with a brand new kingdom, you don't look very happy. Well, it's kind of stressful, blue hair boy. Uh, I am happy, but I'm worried. There's still so much we don't know. And now there's a force bent on destroying our whole world. How can I ever hope to overcome something like that? You can't, on your own. But you're not on your own, are you? No, not anymore. I have friends beside me. The best friends I could ever hope for. That's right. So turn to them when you need to, and take it one step at a time. You'll get there in the end. I suppose so. I can only do my best after all. <laughs> exactly. And your best is only going to get better. I'll see you again soon, Evan. Yes. See you soon. For God's sakes, am I ever going to ask him who he is? Kingdom Creator. Kingdom of Evermore, kingdom to come. All right, cool. This is the point you guys said this is where things start to open up a bit more is chapter four, so. Oh, look at that, Evermore! All right, hey, we're looking good. Ooh, hey, wow, hey. 
built this up quite fast, didn't they? It's a little empty in here, though. Huh. They do for some, I don't know, maybe get some, like, cool animal heads and stuff hanging on the side, and yeah, that'd be tight. That'd be dope, right, Roland? Uh, sure. Evermore's begin to look like a real kingdom. Man, they really gave this chair comfy. Oh, oh my, did they even stall a seat warmer in this thing? Oh, those guys. It is, isn't it? Next time we had a little talk about how a country needs to be run. That's all right with you. Of course, I'll gather everyone together. Hello! Chapter four, Ferdinand, mighty Ferdinand. Ooh. All right. Castle's ready and things are coming along nicely. Which means it's time to get down to the business of running your new nation. We need to set up all the various ministries this place will need to grow into a fully fledged kingdom. We need to assign the right people to the right task. Aye, lad, the uh, controlled chaos of the Sky Pirates ain't for everybody. Ha. I've taken a census of all your citizens and listed up who's skilled at what. Oh, am I gonna have like, is it gonna be like a sim face to this or something? I kind of assumed a lot of this was just gonna be kind of like story oriented and I'm just kind of, you know, playing around this idea, but it's all gonna be pretty linear. Deciding it will work with where is up to you though. That's a job for a king. So I'll need to think up which role, about which roles will suit particular people and assign them accordingly. That's right. Give it a try. You'll learn fastest by doing. Just take a seat on your throne and start giving some orders. Oh. Evermore forever. So on your throne starts overseeing Evermore's development. Oh, no way, it's so cool, okay. Evan's back. You can't keep a good king down, it seems, and sure enough, uh, Evan has bounced back and is building a brand new kingdom called Evermore with a little help from his faithful friend Roland. I don't know about you, but I for one am saying great things. Yeah, yeah, he pushed Evan's alive. I thought he was dead, dude. Machine, I was sure he was dead. I, the person who saw him earlier was right. He's building a new kingdom. He's playing. So he's playing to get Ding Dong Dell back. <laughs> no, Ding Dong Dell's dead to me. Don't give a shit about them anymore. It's a fine name for a kingdom. Ah, Hound about town 888. Never have I witnessed someone gamble like the grumpy old man who saw the casino. No matter how many times he lost, he just was kept going. I admire his optimism, but I fear having such an enormous dew bill. Oh, dew bill, is that what they're called? It's squawking at me like that all day would be too much to bear. <laughs> ah, Flack! It's all right. Gilbert Burfrey's never gonna come back again. Thank God. Lofty, you have any <gasps> tips? Car! This is what I call a castle. I've always wanted to live somewhere like this. Papa Posh like. That's, that's beautiful. Although, where's, my, where's my throne? A little tiny throne for Lofty. Okay, uh. Oh, whoa. Oh, so cool. Managing your kingdom. If it could sit down on his throne and Evermore Castle and issue orders to his subjects in order to help his kingdom grow and prosper, and in turn make his adventure easier. Wow, okay, awesome. That's so cool. Man, this game is truly something else. Truly just an absolutely different beast from the first game, you know? In like every way possible. I like that too, you know, the, the fact that they, they didn't just go like, okay, like the same mechanics, we just decided to build on it. No, they said, you know what, forget those other mechanics, we're just doing it all from scratch again. It's just awesome, all right, sweet. So it looks like we'll have some like sim management in this. By building facilities, assigning systems to run them, and having them carry out research in new technologies and techniques, you can open up a whole world of possibilities. Oh my god, no way. Facilities include shops where unique items can be bought. So outfitters that can make all kinds of clothes and armor, and many others. Keep building and make ever more fa fa amazing. King's Gilder, KG. King's Gilder are the currency of kingdom management. Okay, and are entirely separate from the Gilders Evan and his friends can earn elsewhere. Oh, all right. So I won't be able to just like grind for a bunch of money then uh, on the world map or something. They are necessary for every step of kingdom building, from creating new facilities to upgrading existing facilities, to carrying out research and s at said facilities. When I claim your first clutch of KG, go to your kingdom's coffers and grab them. Oh, okay. So these, like, check out full the country's coffers are and collecting king skillers that have accumulated. Is this, like, from taxes or something? Huh. The town's efforts of your system has earned you a total of 25,000 KG. Your, your kingdom is growing every day. Long may it continue. Thanks, Daddy Roland. 
But gradually accumulate as your citizens go about their business. You can collect them from your kingdom's coffers as and when you need you need them. Oh, okay, cool. You'll be surprised how quickly they can build up, especially once your kingdom's influence starts to grow. So check back regularly and see how things are looking. You may be able to earn extra king's guilders by solving the various day-to-day -day problems of your beloved citizens. You also see how many king's guilders you've collected to them in the main menu, so you don't have to go back to Evermore and check every single time. Oh, good. All right, it's time to take your hard-earned king guilder and spend them on building a new facility. You can select to build the facilities your kingdom will need by selecting Magic Kingdom from the main menu. Building them will, cost, of course, cost King's Gilder. Each and every facility can have a hugely beneficial effect, from opening up new avenues of research to making new items available, so be sure to consider each one carefully. And don't forget, you can also improve the effects of existing facilities by upgrading them. Oh my god, yes! Oh! Oh, it's bringing out the Warcraft in me! Oh my god! Dude, I fucking love... I love the original Warcrafts, you know, that when they were real-time strategy games. Oh, damn, yeah! Gotta upgrade my town hall so I can build better shit. Oh, sweet! Oh my god, I'm gonna turn this little dinky castle into a kick-ass one. Look at that! Oh, yeah, so yeah, look, I'm starting with, like, the wood, and I'm eventually, like, moving over to stone at some point. I'm, I don't know if that's, like, the end game castle or, or what, but... Well, a particularly helpful facility of Grazer Castle, so, as doing will... So will benefit the entire kingdom, broadening its borders so that even more facilities can be built. Oh my god, so cool! But leveling up your castle will cost quite a few kings gilder. Try... Try upping your influence with a few basic facilities first to improve your coffer filling capabilities. The first thing you'll need to do is select Magic Kingdom, build a facilities of each of the four ministries surrounding the castle. Okay, Magic Kingdom. Alright, so we got some unused spots. I guess we'll go with here. How about that? Oh, I see. It, I, I can't just. It, it already has what it's gonna be. Can build Evermore Weapon Workshop. Yeah, Evermore Outfitters, Spellworks, and, oh, build Higglery. Oh, research and make improve Higgledies. Oh, here we go. Now I can finally start doing that. Awesome. Okay, so I can't exactly decide where, like, I want each building to be, but that's all right. Okay, so it costs 350 build costs, increases influence 15,000. <laughs> and I'm at 1,000 right now. Okay, sweet. I wonder if we'll have to wait a while. Nope! <laughs> Don't look like it! Weapon, weapon workshop completed! Oh, give me that influence, baby. Okay. Should I start buying every, all these? I definitely want to get the Higglery thing. I <laughs> actually bought two from up here. Arr, I'm right over there! In my chibi form. I wonder if I, like, can I... Can I do like we do in Dark Cloud 2, but then you're like, you're like up here, but then you go down to the, the ground level, and then like all gets bigger, or I wonder if it'll, maybe it'll stay like in the chippy form like this, I'm not sure. I guess let's go ahead and make, build all these, right? Have more outfitters completed, and ever more spell works. Okay. Kingdom Development, Research. Once your facilities are up and running, you'll need to set them to work on research. Most facilities can carry out research of some kind. This can have all kinds of beneficial effects from making new items available to helping Elvin, Evan and his friends. In order to research a given topic, you'll need personnel with enough IQ and the King's Guilder to, to fund, or, fund their work. Some topics may also have extra requirements. Of course, research takes time. When research into given topics reach 100%, it'll be completed. But the more complex the topic, the longer this will take. The higher the IQ of the personnel involved, the shorter the time requ required time will become. If you really want to hurry things up, you can always spend a few more King's Gilder. <laughs> or buy our premium currency for only $2.99. Ah, god damn it! In order to carry out research, you'll need the right personnel. War Ingenuity Spritecraft Conjury. Every citizen is different and will be suited to different work. You can see which kind of work suits someone best by looking at their ratings under four separate categories. Their suitability for a given type of task is known as IQ. For example, you'll need someone with high IQ where military matters are concerned to carry out weapons research. Each system will also have their own special skills as an individual. These can have various beneficial effects and greatly influence where you might choose to assign them. Try assigning some personnel to the weapons workshop and begin researching to basic melee weapon development. Okay, that is... Well, that's good, it's, kind of, it's really guiding me along here, so that'll tell me to get uh, the hang of it. Okay, so some personnel first. Oh, bad reputation. A history of gleeful violence that can boost the hunting lodge's productivity. Animal magnetism. A look and smell beloved by animals that can boost the, ranch, the ranch's productivity. 
Sky Savvy, the wildness of the Cloud Coil Canyon that can boost the work at the Explorers Guild. Oh, I see, and their total IQ for such thing. Okay, so Batu then, should I put them all here? Oh, I see, I can actually say triangle and it'll auto do it for me. Okay, research, level one weapon development. Step one on a path to melee mastery. Learn to make a range of basic weapons. Okay, it's not too expensive either, so. Oh, I, do, oh, I see, you do need a requirement of a certain amount of IQ. Research this top will take around one minute. Oh, good. Oh, it's going way faster than that. Complete research. Cool. More influence. Good, looks like your research is complete, but Orion Kingdom isn't just about research. Certain facilities such as farms and mines will allow you to amass materials by assigning personnel to work there and gather them. The items gathered can be collected from your kingdom stores, which are accessible from the kingdom menu. Don't forget to claim your fair share of the bounty of the realm. Your stores can hold only hold so much, so you'll need to empty them regularly in order for your items produce item producing facilities to keep providing you with goods. Kingdom management is complex business. We've covered cover the basics here, but don't be afraid to go over them. Just go to help at the library section of the main menu. Whew. Okay. There definitely seems to be a lot going on here. All done. <laughs> So there's ministries in charge of the weapons and armor, and one in charge of the magic, and even one for Higgledies. There are. Speaking of... Speaking of which, we don't have anybody as skilled in Higgledy management to head up that team right now. Oh, I know! How about that weird, crazy Higgledy guy that lives in the forest? So we sprite savvy, are we? We are. With that, it won't be making any developments in that area anytime soon. What we need to do is recruit someone, somebody. We just have to think of the right person. What about Aunt Auntie Martha? Oh, good. You didn't say that crazy guy. A higgledy diggledy boo -bar. Who's she when she's at home? A friend we made on the way to Cloud Coil Canyon. Doubt anybody knows more about those little guys than she does. Perfect. Let's go and speak to her right away. To Martha's cottage. Okay, cool. Go work her Auntie Martha. Oh. Visiting the dice factory. After... Augur's Guild of Golpal. After discussing the matter with uh, Nial, we have decided to leave the dice factory as it is in, in case any curious visitors would like to look around. Hope we'll start to educate future generations about this deeply regrettable episode. Oh, interesting. Cool. Uh, Hayden Ghost Seeker. Take a good look at this photo. I've hidden something very special. Now it's up to you to find it. The first person to track down the treasure gets to keep it. So come on. What are you waiting for? What does he have to tell us? Give us a hint. We hit tell us, dude. Watch this be. Oh, good. I saw a way. Great. <laughs> That's in Cloud Coil Canyon somewhere. Um, let's see. M maybe I should go ahead and at least set up some things while I'm gone. Some more research or whatever. Oh, I have. I got some more stuff in my coffers. Hey. Uh oh. Not a whole lot though. Okay. Who are my? Oh yeah, my sisters. I got Tony. Tony. Dowser's instinct. I feel for treasure hunting that can boost the mining camp's productivity. Uh, Niall. A woodsman's eye, knowledge of his kingdom that can boost the lumberyard's productivity. Uh, Geralt. Her years as the Sky Pirate shop girl makes her perfect for the general store. All around talent. And they even have each get experience too, so they can each level up. Wow, so cool. Kittish and Chops, a perfect palette and love of innovation that make for the ideal brasserie boss. Oh cool, it actually even builds up even while I'm in the menu here. That's nice. Uh, facilities. Okay, we have the weapon workshop. Oh, I see. Just kind of lists out everything. Research. Oh, okay. I can go ahead and do this. Oh, except I don't have enough uh, KG for it. Oh, there's the general store. How much does that cost to make? Oh, 200. Might as well go and make that, right? right looks like I already have the person for the job for it anyway. All around talent required. Well, what do you know? <laughs> this, she seems suitable. <laughs> Who should I pick for this? Okay, uh... Level up facility? Increased discount and better product lineup. Oh, uh, okay. Cost 4,000. Okay, cool. So she's gonna do her thing. Uh, gather fish, seafood, shells, and corals. The more stuff I have, the more money I get more quickly, I think, right? Okay, uh, recommended people. Do I really need all these people for that? Humble Bazaar, Tasty's Cook Shop, Budding lumber, lumber yard. Hubble Bubblery. 
I think that one guy said he's good for the could be good for the lumber yard, so but nigh all. Yeah, okay. I see. So we have people who are quote unquote suitable and probably better at it than uh, others, so alright. Oh, is his little oh his little bar's going up. I guess oh he's working he's earning money, I guess. Hubble bubble rate. Get better BL BTL <laughs> read BLT rewards. Battle rewards. Research medicines. I only got enough room for probably enough money for one more. Cook and buy food. Wait. Okay, we got the barracks. Uh mining camp. Explorers Guild. Sleepy Ranch. Verdant Farm. Hunting Lodge. Alright, let's go with the mining camp, because I could put Tani there. Tony! <laughs> wow, so am I like Expand out this far? Oh my God! Wonder what I wonder what the influence means. Like, what do I do with it? Does it just mean how much power I have? Or oh, there we go. King Evan, Roland, Chief Consul. Oh, cool. I expand coffers, level up kingdom. Oh, it even tells me how much I'm accumulating. My is 1,878 kg an hour. Store capacity is 5,000. You need 3,000 to go to level two. Actually, I, I saw some people mention in the comments, they were mentioning things like non-spoilery comments for future stuff, so, okay. I saw one of you mention that I should upgrade my, ex my, expand my coffers as soon as possible. I wonder if a part of this then will be re recruiting like new people to your kingdom from like other towns. Ooh, that'd be really fun actually. This is really cool, I'm totally digging this. Okay, I think uh, that's probably pretty good for now. So I can hold a maximum of 5,000. It's at 1,800 an hour, right? So that, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a while. Uh, let's go to return to town. Oh yeah, okay, so I do. I stay in my little chibi form. Ah. Uh, hey, buddy. Thanks. Bastia, I just wanted to tell you how grateful I am for this chance. I'm gonna let you or your taste buds down. I'm sure you, your mind is unusually, unusually occupied with much more important matters than dinner, but I'll teach you the wonders of the fine cuisine if it's the last thing I do. I have a very unique service here. You see, unlike other restaurants, I cook things with whatever greens my customers have to bring me. Yes. The recipes I cook are guaranteed to bring out the best in their ingredients, be it the ability to heal or make you even stronger or even more intelligent. So if you ever come across an interesting recipe or some unusual ingredients on your travels, bring them to me and I'll be more than happy to cook them up for you. All free of charge, mm. naturally. Of course, I'm still a relative newcomer to this cooking scene, so I'll only be able to make a few things at first. But the more I cook different recipes from around the world, the more culinary skills my sc culinary skills will increase. One day I'm hoping no dish will be beyond me. Oh, and once I've cooked up a, f a recipe for you, you'll be able to pay a few guilders to have me cook it for you again anytime you like. That's better as far as explanations goes, especially if you're ever feeling peckish, pop by. More than happy to repeat everything I've just told you if you need me to, so if you ever need have your memory refreshed, just let me know. Now, is there anything you'd like me to whip up for you while you're here? Are you ready to order? We're ready to order? Wow, okay. Well, you can make the bread. Oh, and I do. I use my ingredients here. Sure, I'll, I'll take one of these. Cook it up a treat. Yeah! I got a trophy for it. Okay, so I cook it. Uh, or, I, oh, I, or I can just buy it with money, I see. Cool. I bought two. Ah. The other day, Carol threw a broom broom at my head and told me to sweep her floor with a cheeky swab. Well, what should I buy when I was at it? But this little beauty, it's far too good for likes to me. I want you to have it. Oh! Thank you. All right, seven lad, don't make Gerald angry. Step on her. Her makes the boss look like a pussy cat. Making improving equipment. You can make weapons at the weapons sh workshop and armor accessories at the outfitters. The range of items available will depend on the research you carry out at each. You'll need to the right materials to make the items and can even so add so-called catalysts to improve the quality of the end product. The higher quality, the longer it things last. You can also use these same facilities to improve existing equipment. As with item production, this will require specific special materials. Be sure to improve the right aspects of each piece of weapon equipment. For example, physical and magical attacks for your weapons. Be aware that each item of equipment can only be improved a fixed number of times. Reach that and you'll be stuck with whatever you have. Oh, interesting, okay. Well, I can make a lot of basic stuff right now. Rat cleaver, tower toppler. Oh, a new gun, yeah! Brawler. Actually, I have that one already. Can I improve this one? Ah, oh, damn it. I need, oh, I'm missing two, all I need is two more things. So like for his gun. Oh, I see it. Okay, it only goes up, it only goes up one stat. So pretty minimal. Or maybe it does, only goes up one stat right now. But it'll go up more as I improve the 
the shop. Well, if that's if it only goes up one stat, it's really not much. So I think I better just probably wait. I do kind of wish it did when Dark Cloud Two did. I, that was always really cool when you uh, or, or Dark Cloud One and Two, where you when you built your town and then. When you go back, it would like zoom down to the their own perspective. It, I don't know, it was always really cool because it just really made like everything feel like feel big in scope. Not this isn't also great too. That this actually makes it a lot easier to see where stuff is and to get around. Learning and improving magic. The spell works is where new spells are learned and existing spells improved. All spells learned here are of the kind that can be assigned to a skill pad and used in battle. Just with equipment, acquiring new skills requires certain uh, specific materials. And some spells will only be available to certain characters. It's a good idea to broaden and strengthen the repertoires of your magical specialists here as early on as you can. Not with just offensive, but with defensive spells as well. Evan, can you learn to cure or anything? Because I would really love that. Okay, I can't really do I can't really do anything yet with this because I need to. Oh, I, you, you don't can't, you can't learn too much, can you? Uh, Roland, you get lightning stuff. Actually, God, yeah. Look, compared to Evan, you can learn a shit ton of stuff. Batu's just all about all about them rocks, baby. Ahoy there! Ahoy there, your, your majesty! Look, I've opened up me very own emporium. Tis the proudest day in my life, and it owes it all to you. It's a fine shop, and you'll find with, within a thousand leagues, wherever you might want to buy or sell, it's the place to do it. But I ain't, to say it can't be even better, well, no, I'll upgrade the old place, and there ain't no place. Tell what of manner of marvels will be getting stock. And at rock bottom prices, yeah. too. But a fine range of medicines won't be expanded anytime soon, unless you could do a little research of it. Somewhere to, else to brother the knowledge pool. Anyway, that's enough about the old place for now. I'll keep. I'll get back to shopkeeping. Do drop by any time, Your Majesty. And for me, repeating little old speed. What okay. else can I do for you? Come to do some shopping, eh? Okay, got some basic stuff here. Oh, got some some food stuff. Actually, probably should grab at least one of everything because. Oh wow, she got a lot of stuff here, even materials, including a bunch I don't have yet. Probably, yeah, grab like one or two of each of these things so I can uh, uh, give it to any Heagledees if I need to. Oh, hey, here we go. High Tide Shell, that's what I wanted to do to upgrade my other weapon, but... You know, Evan Lat, time was I laughed myself silly if some swab told me that I wanted to build a kingdom where everyone could live happily ever after. But you'll do it. I know, I know you will. There's one thing I learned in the Man in the Skies. It's always trust me instincts. You just in big things, believe me. Thank you, Bot 2. So, oh! Oh, no, it isn't, actually. It doesn't seem to be based on that. So this one goes up too. So it's based more on just whatever weapon it is. And not necessarily... I still kind of want to wait though. Even two isn't that much. I'm afraid I'd upgrade it and then turns out, Oh, I could actually do a whole bunch of other shit with it. Ah, <laughs> look at that big old fish right there. I know you're young, so no matter how much you burn the midnight oil, you're always going to be bright-eyed bright and bushy-tailed. But let me tell you, you can't keep that up forever. All the hard work s starts to take its toll. Just take my advice and look after yourself. Health is one of those things that's easy to lose and hard to get back. Okay, Daddy Roland, whatever you say. Remember to slay when it gets in your dumb demon way. Okay, sounds good. Hi. Hey, Evan, we'll all take a day off and let Roland take care of things. Oh, don't look at me like that. I was just joking. This is your kingdom. You're not about to leave it to someone else to run it. I see a sheep or something. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Ah. Uh... Okay, bye. Oh, that's nice. I can, I can hit just the triangle button to go right up back up here again. So I'm wondering if any of the people in my... Oh, nope. You probably need specific people to be able to join your army. Wait a minute, did that one from earlier go away? I thought it was over there. Is this the same one or something different? Oh, shit. This is something different. Oh, no. I didn't know they went away after a while. Oh, crap. I seem like a missed opportunity then. Shit. I really wish I uh, hadn't missed it then. I don't know if it's like, I only have two people though. I, I heard you guys say that I really do want to do these battles so I can stay leveled up in that regard because it is sort of, it is sort of like a separate level than what I am normally. But can I get some more people first? Maybe, well, let's go get recruit Auntie Martha. I'm sure that's not, I, it, maybe it's like every chapter or something. Oh, there's one over there too. All right, Auntie Martha, come work for me. Oh, look, I have a Citizen Almanac now. Evan Petty Wesker Tildrum, for he was deposed in a coup, Evan was the young king of Ding Dong Dell. Now, ably assisted by his friend and advisor Roland, he has founded a new kingdom called Evermore. His kind heart belies his steely determination. Roland Crane, his world, Roland was a president of a major superpower. When he came to Evan's world, he found that he regained his youth, but retained the, the cool-headed maturity of his older self. He has a gravely ill son of around Evan's age back at home. Oh, hey, that's been, we didn't learn that yet. The only daughter of Batu, leader of the Sky Pirates, 
He brought her up to tough, be tough enough, unafraid to speak her mind. And she learned this lesson well. Some would say too well. Which isn't to say she doesn't have a secret soft spot for pretty dresses and puppy dogs. Ah, Tony! Batu, a sky pirate chieftain also known for as the Cloud Snake, a name that strikes fear into decent and law-abiding hearts. He's fiercely protective of his underlings and quick to anger. And his daughter, Tawny, who he instructs in the arts of flying and fighting. Lofty! The Kingmaker Evan first met at the Cradle of Light. He may look unimpressive, but in his own words, he still has some growing to do. While most Kingmakers are distinct beings, Lofty likes to spend time with this king and provide what comic relief he can. So yeah, like, we haven't mentioned anything about fairies here. Like, I, So I'm sort of thinking, Maybe he's sort of like the only one of his kind in, in this game. That's that's gonna be, that's pretty cool. This is like, so I've got 9% completed. There's a total of 103 citizens. It's like, a, it's gonna be like trying to catch all the Pokemon, right? Gotta catch them all. Auntie Martha. Hello there. Eh, hey, it my young, favorite young men. What can I do for you today, my handsomes? Hello. We've um a favor to ask. We've started our new kingdom, you see. We were wondering if you might like to come and live there. We need someone who knows about Higgledy's. Well, no. What's that now? You want old Martha to move to this new country, yours? Oh. I, I, well, not if you don't want to, of course. Oh, Evan, my love. Of course I want to. I'd be delighted to come and lend a hand if, you have, if you'll have me. You would? Wonderful. There's just one problem, though. Someone stole my rubber dub scrubber. What? Yo, rubber dub, what? <laughs> no, dear. What you listening, dearie? A rubber dub scrubber, I said. This, it's a scour. It's a scour. Just not just any old scour. It's very special indeed. It'll get even the filthiest old pot sparkling clean with just a swish and a swash. My higgledy darlings, fly refused to be born into anything but the cleanest of cauldrons. So you see, I can't be doing doing without it. Gosh. Gosh. I never knew higgledies were born from cauldrons. But who do you think could have stolen it, Auntie Martha? Uh, a wicked little whamster, that's who. Problem is, I'm in no position to go chase after those grubby environment of my age. All right. Well then, we'll get it back for you. You will? Oh, aren't you just a little dear? I expect a little bag of red off to Crowdy Grotto. With it, there's an awful lot of his sword over that way. ta -tar for now. Do that for me and I'll gladly move to your kingdom. I'm sure it's lovely. Okay. Quest accepted. Oh, okay. I'm starting in the side quest now. Oh, roar! It even gives me roar, experience of gold, or guilders. I mean, and three leaf sword way. Oh, it even tell. Oh, it tells me what her her stats and stuff are too. Head of for the Higgles, an inside out knowledge of spycraft that can help boost work at the Higglery. Okay, recommend a level 15. Make this your active quest. Side quest updated. Side quests are small tasks that can be carried out to help solve the various worries and day-to-day -day troubles of the people you meet around the world. Not only will you be rewarded for completing them, they'll also allow you to recruit new citizens to your kingdom. Okay, where do I... Uh, do I have something in here that keeps track of them? Oh yeah, quest. Evermore forever. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, I did actually hear you guys tell me, apparently... Um, there are two quests that you don't want to do at the same time, because if you do, you won't be able to complete the other. I don't remember what one of them is, but I do know the other second one is uh, quest 51. So I can't do that one alongside some other number quest. Uh, meaning, I think probably 51, do you want to do 51 first, and then take whatever the other one is. Okay, where is the Grotty Grotto exactly? Actually, I think I've been there before, haven't I? Yep, I've been there before. We also have a uh, army battle over here, maybe... This will be a lower level. Walk, walk the Whamsters. Oh, wait. Was this the one that was closer near to my kingdom? And it wasn't level three, though. Okay, time to kick their ass. Oh. Look, this must be the Whamsters who stole from Auntie Martha. Let's return the scrubber to its rightful owner. <laughs> Die, you shit! <laughs> Fuck you! Boom! Dead. <laughs> scrub a dub, a rub a dub scrubber. Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! Nato! <laughs> We've got Auntie Martha's rub a dub scrubber. Let's take it back to her. Right, Dove? Oh. Full mark, Seven. Well done. Mystery woman. Oi! Hang on, man. How do you know his name? 
Um... We've never met before, have we? You fight well. You're just what I'm looking for. Must listen to what I have to say. I have an important mission for you. Flip it, act, man! Flip it! Flip it, act! Why have we got ourselves in two? Two now! Uh... Um... Um, so... Is there something I can help you with? You are perfectly happy to blindly follow the requests of strangers, I see. This can be a dangerous habit. What? But you said you had a special mission for- Hey! Do not interrupt me or I shall be forced to dock your marks. Now listen, this is for you. Take it. Oh! You obtained the dreamer's key. Oh, is this to open those doors back there? Hmm? Like the one that's back behind me? Is this a key? Yeah. It is indeed. I seem you're aware of this presence in this world of the mysterious portals known as the Dreamer's Doors. I have long wished to investigate what lies beyond them, but I have been unable to bypass the magics that seal them shut. But now at last, I have made a breakthrough. I managed to create a key that will allow them to be opened. I call it the Dreamer's Key. Gosh. Gosh, that sounds very exciting. <laughs> it certainly is. It was an achievement for which I rewarded myself full marks. Full marks, what? Which brings us to my reasons for coming here. This is a dreamer's door in this very cave. Unfortunately, having come this far, I find myself in a rather problematic situation. <sighs> oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah we go, man! <sighs> I am, as I am sure you can appreciate, a gifted intellect. An intellectual. I am perilous in matters of the mind. But when it comes to the field of battle, I. well, I have a little to contribute. As such, I fear what lies beyond the door may be beyond my ability to deal with. But behold, fate has provided an answer. A capable assistant has been sent to me. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> yeah. I mean you, of course. What? But, but, I, I don't... I don't even know you, lady. No arguments, please. I'm sorry to say that I will be deducting ten marks for any more... such petulant outbursts. <laughs> Who are you exactly from what? Flip it, Ackman! Flip it, Ackman! Student, my head in with this Mark Malaki! Before I go on, I must introduce myself. I am Professor Millennia. You may call me Professor. Really? Professor, is it? There's a big head. I, I mean, right, you are, Professor. Won't be needing to knock any more points from us. Yeah. I'm happy to hear it. Now, behind each dreamer's store, you'll find an object known as a dream fragment. There are nine of these in total. Nine? <laughs> Collect them all, and there may well be some bonus marks in it for you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must return to Goldpaw. Come find me there once you have gathered all nine fragments. Do not feel that there is any need to hurry. I have all the time in the world. And allow me to wish you the very best of luck. I expect great things from you. Okay. That was unusual. Flip! Flip, man! What's this we've been roped into now? Bonus marks indeed! Never asked for any flipping marks in the first place! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did wonder what that was all about. But I'm rather intrigued by these dreamers' doors. She said there was one in this cave, didn't she? Yes, she did, my lad! What about Auntie Mother the Scrubber? I suppose can't hurt to take a little doing to her fancy. You know, Your Majesty! Oh! Okay, that's quest side quest number two! Is this, okay, so this is actually someone I can recruit to my kingdom as well. I get a lucky locket if I do this. Insider Insight. Experience on the Dreamer's Maze that can help boost work at the Dimensional Lab. Uh, what? Where? I get a Dimensional Lab? Okay. Top marks for trying. Oh, wait. Did, give me a recommended level. Oh, my God almighty. <laughs> recommended level 60. Well, holy shit. Well, maybe that's like on the, the top level, right? Like, maybe this first one will be easier? Maybe. Or maybe you'll kick me into the fucking next dimension. That was a save point, so let's go ahead and, uh, give this a go! Oh, lord. Dreamer's door gives off an eerie aura. Door with the dreamer's key. You won't be able to save while you're in the dreamer's maze. Okay. Oh, god. Level one. Dream a little dream. Strange uncharted spaces stretch out beyond the portals known as the Dreamer's Doors. 
What lies at their end and what enemies land uh, lands await within, no one knows. Dreamer's mazes. When Evan and his friends enter Dreamer's maze, a strain is placed on the very fabric of space and time, causing the danger level of that dimension to gradually diminish. What the fuck? Each time the danger gauge fills, the danger level will increase by one. Simply being present is enough to fill it, but certain other instances will cause it to increase. When the danger level increases, so too will the level of inferocity of the monsters you encounter. As such, you must keep a close eye on it at all times. Defeating monsters in a dreamer's maze will earn you strange pink spheres known as the key orbs. Offer up enough of these to an idol when you come across one, and you can cause the danger level to de decrease. But each time you do so, the idol's hunger for orbs will, will grow. What the fuck? Oh my god! I just jump into like Devil May Cry? What is going on? This sounds fucking brutal. You also meet the occasional person at Dreamer's Maze, and they might gift you have a gift of orbs for you, or be able to lower the dra danger level for a price. The last floor of every Dreamer's Maze is full of monsters whose ferocity is beyond imagining, but feeding them is the only way to stabilize these precarious dimensions. Several Dreamer doors are known to exist around the world. Do you have what it takes to overcome what lies beyond them all? Oh lord, okay. Go on to the next floor. Oh, hey. Okay, we can pick up from pots, too. That's good. Oh, I can't even look at a map in here. Oh, okay, yeah, so I can choose to leave or move on to the next floor. Got a lot of stuff being introduced in this one episode. Grotto Maze Level 2. Break the pots. Lots of chests, too. Chests down here, too. Burning Cutlass. Well, the monsters least seem killable here. So far. Okay, we got another one of, the, got one of these statues here. Ow! Boom. There we go. Just nail your ass with magic. Oh, we got a lock chest in here, too. Oh, he says that an offering of fire orbs won't lock it. Oh! Okay. Sure. Give me something good. God damn it. Really? Fuck you. Oh my god, give me such <laughs> that's such a garbage weapon. I can't believe it gave me that. I also face the picture of pure kindness. Danger level will decrease. Sure. Picture stays at a low level. Although maybe as the high higher it gets, it might be good for uh grinding experience. I I don't know. Something truly terrible be oh terrifying beyond this door. Okay. So I think it might be already close to the end of this one. Yep, yep, final floor. <laughs> Are you the terrifying thing? Ow! Eat magic, motherfucker! Oh, oh my god, that's a lot of strength. Here we are. Boom! Dead! Victory! Red Dream Fragment. Okay, cool. Oh, and it stopped the danger level from going up. Oh! Now to get the booty! Boom! Alright, well that wasn't too bad, but I imagine this could get incredibly difficult. Uh, this, def this looks like it has the potential to be, like, brutal. That's the final door. Whoosh! Okay, I've come across, I think, one other door. In one of these other areas. Spill force the Grotto Grotto Maze and escaped unscathed. I don't know if unscathed is quite the right, quite the right word. Oh yeah, see, it even tells me that there was that one over here. I'm glad it actually remembered where it was. That's that's nice. There you go. Thanks ever so much. <laughs> you got it back. Ah, oh, wonderful of you, dear. Now I can scrub that cauldron to the sparkles and make some lovely healies for you. Now they're my little darlings. You look after the place while I'm away. You hear? Right <laughs> here. I do, Evan. I'm. Ready when you are. Why don't you show me this kingdom of yours, hmm? <laughs> oh, dancing. All right, complete it. A bit on the side. But Martha is now a citizen of Evermore. <laughs> so this is your place, is it, dearie? I must say, it's very cozy. Glad you like it. Please make yourself at home. We're not here, though. This is my castle. My. I shall, my lovely, I shall. Don't forget, Evan. Before Martha can get to work, you'll need to take a seat on your throne and assign it to her, her to, the, to a ministry. ta -tar for now. All right, my lovelies, you do what you have to do. I'll pop around and say hello to everyone. Just chat when you need me. Especially you, big guy. <laughs> Tall, dark, and Roland. Hey. 
Hey, Evan. Something else I need to talk to you about. Come speak to me when you have a moment, okay? Hmm. Of course. Okay. Eh. Raw recruiter. What the flip? What the flip? A cauldron. Good star. Don't I got flippy diggly to you? Mind you, mind you, some of the yellow ones do look a bit like me when I was younger. Good looking ones, I mean. But I say, have some little respect, man. <laughs> I don't think you press testing a mic too much there, Lofty. You're much wrong be with being a Higgledy as far as I can see. <laughs> you know how you can make Higgledies in a pot? Is that how you were made, Lofty? So give a big cauldron good stone you popped out. <laughs> For God's sakes, girl! Got some more in the coffers. As well as some stuff in the stores. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, interesting. I have the option to take them or sell them all. It's the regular materials that the stores get. All right, 1,458. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and set her in the, uh, this place. Auntie Martha! My first Higgledy cookbook. My second Higgledy cookbook. Okay, uh, staff member knows head for Higgles. First in a series of instruction books on how to cook up all the best Higgledies. Took around, it was like 22 minutes, jeez. Okay, uh, at Floyd, how much will it do? Max it to 15, 15 minutes. Oh, I think this is like the items they gather from this. You claimable items. Oh, I see. I'm like researching something though, so like, let's get him here. He's he's got a good good eye for Higgledies as well. Okay, now let's take ten minutes. Oh, oh, we have level one for range development too. Okay, let's do that. All right, it. Okay, it seems good for right now. All right, Daddy Roland, what's up? What's he wanting to talk to me about, Roland? I guess better if we gather everybody together first. Well, what is it? Eh? Well, whatever it is, judging by the look on your face, you you be in a bonnet about it. Yeah, I guess you could say that, yeah. All right, let's straight d down to it. More's coming along pretty nicely. The castle now, and we set up all the ministries. Things are beginning to take shape. But we're still missing something vital. What do you mean? Yeah, people gathered here from all over the world. You're gonna unite them. You're going to need them to give them a banner to unite under. A banner? What exactly do we stand for? What are our goals? Our values? That's what I mean by a banner. A shared purpose. Something everyone can work toward. Without that, we can't call ourselves a nation. Hmm. You're the king. What kind of kingdom were you hoping for? What goals do you want to set? What kind of place do you want to be? I see. Well, happily ever after? Most of all, I suppose I would like to be it to be a happy place. A place where people get along with one another. Sure, we know that part. But it's something more concrete than that. I know. A kingdom without war fighting. That's what I want. And who doesn't want that, lad? Hmm? You think we like being at tooth and nail with the wyverns the whole time? Or are they with us? Folks will have their differences, no matter how lovey-dovey a kingdom you build. He's right. But I really do want that. I want to bring an end to war. That's our banner. It has to be. Well, all right then. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> That's your decision. We'll need to gather intel on our rival kingdoms. I, for one, don't feel like I know eno enough about this world yet. Listen. Hey, I'll be needing to hit the library for a wee read. It's over on Goldpaw there. Want to buy a mad old baggage named Bodley. Hey, books and scrolls and tablets are what have ye on every subject under the sun. You'll find your intel there, sure enough. Huh. The library, huh? Yeah, sounds like what we need. It will certainly be worth a visit, I'm sure. Okay, banner to unite under. Uh, the forest trail, the world in pictures. It's a scene I came upon when wandering in the woods. See how the tree roots have grown to form natural arcs, tempting the intrepid explorer to pass through them and go deeper into the forest. Do I follow that trail or turn back? What do you think? It's a shadow swing scene, oh my god, dude. Yes, use more of the fucking concept art from Neo Kuni 2. You fucking stealer, you aren't stealer. Ghostly presence, Dare and, dares and scares. Take a look at this photograph. A friend and I decided to test our courage and into the cavernous death's door. 
I took this picture to prove we had really been there and was amazed to see the spectral presence behind us. Could have been a real ghost. Oh my god, there's something there! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, I remember coming across the spirit in uh, another area. I don't think it was that one, though. Okay, banner you not under. That's the that's the main story quest. Kind of want to look around and see. So can I like start recruiting people now? All right, I should go talk to Auntie Martha at the, the Higgledy place here. Even with the research, I should probably at least get the tutorial on what exactly is going on. Uh, cooking and leveling up Higgledies. Higgledies where you can cook up all new Higgledies to help you on your adventure. Pop just the right ingredients in the cauldron and give it a stir, and they'll and out they'll fly. No one quite knows how it works, but you can't cook up the same one twice. Marley says it's because two of the same soul can exist in the world at once. But who knows? You also improve your existing hildies here using all the manner of materials. And the fonder and the fonder they are of the items you have to offer, the bigger the effect will be. Oh, okay. Cook up pickledies? Oh, I see. I make blink the blinky. Okay, well, might as well make this one then. It's got a little bow! Comes gleefully into being. Oh yeah, they used to have likes. Fruit, cotton, secret ingredients, dairy products, fur, mushrooms. Runcible the Righteous has the, the most attack out of everyone so far. Well, this Higgledy Boom is kind of shit. I got Thorngerine, he really loves those. I got four, four of them. And a Swirly Apple. Oh, that's how much he gives him? Wow, that is not a lot. Oh, there we go. Level up. And, oh, okay, increases his stats a bit. All right, these are actually the things that I, like, the things that I could have given to him back when I, at his, uh, his little statue. So it makes sense that this would be the stuff that he likes the best. As they level up, I wonder what does that, does it just increase their stats and that's it? Or does it also do other stuff? Give them new, new abilities or whatever. There we go. I leveled a few of them up. So those are lovely. He's giving me presents, but today hit me a certain something over and tell me, especially for King Evan. Well, here you go, dearie. Hope you like it. Oh, a wall of duck feather. Yeah! 